Hi, my name is George, and this is Professor uh, Sterell Huo, and her research is on um, the effect of black carbon or soot and on um, the effects of that on climate. So, would you like to just give a brief overview? Yeah. Um, yeah. So I'm uh, co-authoring a study that was just published in the journal Geophysical Research, and the study, when when it first came out, got a lot of attention in the media. Um, the reason for that is that we find the study that actually has a lot of co-authors. I, I, I believe 21 co-authors or something like that. Uh, so it's a huge collaboration. Uh, we find that black carbon or soot particles that float around in the atmosphere and that come from um, burning of fossil fuel and biofuel and biomass, uh, that these particles actually contribute more to warming than we had previously thought. These soot particles or black carbon particles are the second most important driver of global warming behind only CO2. So more important than any of the other greenhouse gases, if our best estimate is correct. So, so that was um, that got a lot of attention. <laughs> okay, so I know this is a really big study. As you mentioned, there are more than twenty authors. Um, so, could you talk more about like specifically maybe where you? My contribution. Yeah. yeah. So my contribution is perhaps not the most exciting uh, part of the contribution, but. Uh, or, or of the study, but um, my specialty is how different types of particles in the atmosphere affect clouds. And mostly my work uh, has been in, in numerical simulations of this. So we, then we actually don't go up, out and observe uh, how particles affect clouds in nature, but we try to simulate it in, in climate models. So these are in, incredibly complicated numerical models that are, you know, trying to the, the best um, of our knowledge to, to simulate, you know, uh, the atmosphere, ocean, um, the cryosphere, all the interactions between the different components of, of the climate system. What black carbon particles do is that they absorb sunlight in the atmosphere. And, and so that's the direct effect that they have on climate. But then, when they absorb sunlight, they also tend to warm the layers of the atmosphere where, they, where they, these particles reside. And that could, in fact, have effects on the cloudiness. So it could, for example, heat up a layer of the atmosphere so much that it evaporates all the clouds. I do think that people have uh, become aware of the fact that CO2 is not the sole driver of climate change, that there are other factors that also contribute, and, and that these other factors may be easier for us as society to do something about than, than CO2 um, emissions. Um, it is also important, though, that this doesn't draw ten attention away from the importance of reducing CO2 emissions. So uh, there's potential for, for um, reducing the warming by mitigating um, uh, black carbon emissions, but um, but we also need to focus on CO2 uh, because CO2, as opposed to black carbon, accumulates in the atmosphere. Whereas, so if we stopped emitting black carbon particles today, if that was at all possible, uh, the black carbon uh, particles in the atmosphere would disappear within a matter of weeks. That is not the case with CO2. With CO2, even if we could stop emissions today, we would have high levels of CO2 in the atmosphere for hundreds of years still.